And this is this is very important. And I know I explained it before, but but I'll just explain it again. Integrating your your Google Calendar with your Kartra calendar is important because of the notifications. When you yeah. when you set up or, or when people schedule appointments through your Kartra calendar, they'll get a booking reminder or they'll get a booking confirmation. They'll get an email reminder one hour before your call but you don't get the notification, right? You just get a one-time mm-hmm. email when they actually schedule. So if they schedule today, but our call ain't till tomorrow, when that call comes at tomorrow, Kartra does not send me a notification. That's why it's so important to integrate Google Calendar because Google Calendar will. It's because as people go and schedule on my Kartra calendar, it's going to now sync because we're going to integrate it. It's going to now sync to my Google calendar. So as I'm working throughout the day, I'll have open my Google calendar up at the top, the tab. I'll have open my Google calendar because I'll get a notification on the computer when that call is coming up 15 minutes before, five minutes before or whatever. And then I also have the Google calendar app on my phone. So I'll get that notification of that next appointment coming up on my phone as well because everything is integrated. But all my appointments now go through Kartra. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go to integrations on the left. My integrations? Yes, my integrations. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for um, Google. There you go. And then new integration. And then connect to Google. And then all you're going to do is choose which one you want to connect. Okay, cool. So allow. Allow. Okay, cool. So confirm your choices. That's fine. Okay, allow. Okay. Oh, okay. That was that was like a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Well, here's what you got to do now, though. There's one more step. So now that we did it there, go to my calendars to the left. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to go into the edit. So click the three dots. Click on edit. Actually, okay. no, edit. And so now over here, and remember, and, and no, not remember, but just keep in mind, any any appointments that you that you currently have on your Google Calendar right now will reflect over here now. So if you already have, you know, appointments scheduled on that Google Calendar for school or for, you know, dinner with parents or whatever, that will also reflect this Karcher calendar. So always make sure your Google Calendar is cleared. Um or or not or not in 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 that way these appointments will, or the time slots in Karcher will be available for anybody that wants to book, you know. Okay. Um, you know, so, yeah, I don't. I wouldn't use this email for anything other than this. So okay. or this calendar for anything other than this. Perfect. 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 So save and next. Okay. Um, and then um, save and next. Uh, save and next. Save and next. And then we're gonna. Yeah, see, so remember that email at the top, that needs to be changed out. So we'll get that e- that business email eventually. But yeah. um, that needs to be changed out. And then um, save and next. And we're going to the next step, which is permissions. So scroll up. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's not here. So go save and next. I think it might be automations. There we go. Okay, so sync with your Google Calendar. So just click on change. Sync, no, not that one. Sync with your Google oh, Calendar. Okay. Oh. And then just hit the drop down, choose your calendar. And then same thing with that one. And then save. Okay, okay. cool. And then um, just save and next. And that's it, man. And so now um, go ahead and pull up your Google Calendar. Go ahead and go mm-hmm. make sure that you're in that account. And, and pull up your – and what I would do too is – or what I do do is I bookmark it. So go to Google Calendar. Click on that. Yeah, sorry. My computer was acting up. And then just make sure in the top right, make sure you're in that account because you might be in your other email. You know, So always double-check that. Yeah, this one's right. Okay. Perfect. And then, and then, yeah, just bookmark it, man. I'd bookmark it and, and just always – Go ahead, be up here, and then bookmark. No, just hit the hit the star right above. Hit the star to the right. Star. That's oh, star. Okay. Yeah, hit that, and then just name it. You know, my calendar or whatever. Name it. Name it something. 
And then, yeah, put it up at the top. real estate calendar, sorry? Yeah, for sure. And then done? Yep. And so now as people go and schedule on your cart or calendar, that appointment will show up right here. Okay. Okay. And yeah. so, a ne- you know, the next step is to, is to just make sure you, you download it on your phone, you know, download that app, Google calendar and, and make sure you're logged into this email and you'll get those, those notifications on your phone as well of your, okay. of, of your up and coming appointment. Yeah. 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 So, I'm just making a list of everything I'm going to do today. Yeah. And let's test it real quick. Let's just test it real quick. Go to your car, go to your cart, your calendar and schedule okay. an appointment. Um, get Kartra, get Kartra hosted page right there. Get Kartra hosted page down. Okay. Just grab the link and then just, just, um, schedule an appointment like you would, you know, like anybody would. So a new tab. And then yeah. Just... New tab. Yep. And when, when this, um, when someone schedules an appointment over here, it normally takes about, yeah, go ahead and go through it. It normally takes maybe, maybe three minutes to, to show up on your Google calendar. So can I put in the email that I just put in the Edmiston real estate? Put, put anything. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Put in anything. We're just testing. Okay, I'm just gonna put in mine. That's your first name. Just first name. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, cool. So next. Yeah, see, you'll want to edit this right here. See, look at that. Oh. Um, yeah, you'll want to, you, yeah, your calendar needs editing. So, um, but that's fine. We'll get Sorry, to that I part. Clipped out of it. Okay, so you'll want to edit, you'll want to edit all that shit. Um, okay, so now go to, um, so did you get an email regarding a new schedule? Yes. Okay, so you got the email. Um, and then so if let me you click, open it back up and let's see if I can edit it. No, you don't do it from there. You got to go into the, into the edit. Oh, so, okay. um, but what I want to show you is though, um, when did you book that? No, leave, leave that there. Not, not that bro. Oh, I said for two fifteen today. Okay. So now go to your Google calendar. It might take a few more minutes, okay. but it'll be there. So, um, oh, look, perfect. Showed up right away. So seller and buyer appointment. 245 see so now yeah if you I click 30 45 minute time yeah, okay okay so if you click on it click on it mm-hmm. or actually you you well yeah you can click on it let me just show you an example click on it and then click on the pencil click on edit actually you you have it by default you have it 30 minutes before so you can always change that in the settings so if you go to settings you can you can change the default notification you may want a, a notification 30 minutes before I do. I do me, me personally. I do. I do 15 minutes before, but um, okay. you can do whatever you want, but um, no, I'm just going to say like 20 minutes before you don't want to, you don't want to have to manually do it for each one. So you'll just go into the oh. settings. Oh, okay. Um, no, you could do it, save it, go ahead and save it. But I'm just saying in the future, like you don't want to be doing it for each one, you know? Yeah. So just change the, the overall settings, go into your Google settings um, and you can change, yeah, right there. You can change the, the time, the notification. Um, it should be in here. Um, yeah, right there. The, the, actually, there's, that's the duration, and then there should be a, a notification. Notification alerts. Um, I know it's somewhere in here. Search around it. You can, event settings, maybe, maybe event settings. Um, Yeah, we'll have to. I'll, I'll I'll have to look in mine and see where mine's at. But I know you can change that default. It's defaulting to thirty minutes, so yeah. I, know you, I know you can change it. So I um, mean, thirty minutes isn't like bad right now. I'm not. Yeah, but I, I, mean, I don't feel like it's the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. So, so what you'll want to do though is go back to Kartra. Yeah, check out. Uh-huh. Play around with this in, a, in in a bit, but go back to Kartra. Click on my calendars to the left. Mm-hmm. And then go into um. 
the three dots, click on edit. Edit. And then let's go into here. Let's um, save in next. Save in next, save in next, save in next right here. So, so hit change. No, go back, go back. Oh, okay. Click on change. This right here is what was showing up. So scroll down. You had mm -hmm. the default. You had that. That's what's showing up. Check your inbox. We have just sent you a confirmation at the appointment. So five, 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 five. Like you got to get rid of all that shit. That right there okay. at the top is what shows below. So look, below, it show, that, that's what it looks like. So as you went in and scheduled an appointment, that's what we saw. So yeah. change it. Um, no, th this was another thing I wanted to ask was about um, since I wanted to be doing Zoom calls. Yeah, let them uh, know right there. Let them know right there. Say, hey, check your inbox. I just emailed you your Zoom link. I'm looking forward to speaking to you, blah, blah, blah. Just edit that. Ch ch change okay. it. You know, change it out. You know, um, you can do all that right there. Yeah. And then, um, and then, and then, yeah, and then just save it. And then that's that's your that's how you integrate your your Google Calendar with with Kartra.